Hi, I'm Saul Goodman. Did you know that you have rights? The Constitution says you do, and so do I. I believe that until proven guilty, every man, woman, and child in this country is innocent. And that's why I fight for you, Gannon Burr. Better call Saul. What's up, disc golfers? Joe here with Joe's Disc Golf, and I have got a story for you. That's right, a video coming out Monday morning, burning the midnight oil, as they say. Huge story, could not let this pass at all. Prodigy Discs has filed a lawsuit against one of its endorsed athletes, Gannon Burr. Now, if you haven't heard about this, you don't have Reddit, you don't have Facebook, you don't have Twitter, you don't have the internet, you probably don't have friends. Well, those last two, maybe not, because you're watching this video and you're awesome, and I'm your friend. I want to be your friend. The lawsuit seeks to bar Burr from working with or promoting a competitor and require him to fulfill his prodigy contract through the end of 2023, and also asks for Burr to pay monetary damages to prodigy discs. Let's jump into this. Here is the dispute. The dispute appears to have developed in the past few months and swiftly accelerated into legal maneuvering earlier this year. Burr and his mother, Michelle Nesheim, I apologize if I said your last name wrong, who co-signed his endorsement contract, reached out to Prodigy in November 2022, requesting that Burr be released from his endorsement contract. Prodigy responded to Burr by expressing a willingness to restructure and renegotiate Burr's deal. Then, on January 13th, Burr delivered an email notice to Prodigy that he was invoking a 30-day clock to terminate the endorsement contract on the basis of multiple material breaches. Wow, that is a lot to take in. So, give you a second to digest it. Let's move on. Burr alleges five items that have said to constitute a material breach of endorsement contract. They are as follows. Number one, Burr did not receive a PDGA Rookie of the Year commemorative disc despite promises that he would get one. Burr did not receive regular sales reports to verify royalty payment on disc sales. Three, Burr did not get to select which signature discs he would receive and that he was promised two but only received one that seems to be less than two which negatively impacted his potential earnings yep prodigy discs quality is poor and the molds are inconsistent and he made such complaints uh known as far back as 2021 in june so we're looking at about a year and a half here and number five he was owed a 500 dollars unpaid bonus Really, that last one? I mean, come on, Prodigy, 500 bucks? All right, enough editorializing. Let's get back into it. Prodigy sought to resolve the alleged breaches and rely on the endorsement agreement language providing that a 30 day cure period before the contract termination. A cure period is a set time, in this case, 30 days, where the two parties can say, hey, you're not doing this. They've got 30 days to fix the situation. Prodigy paid Bird the owed $500 and sent him a sales report. In their court filings, they said that the signature discs and rookie of the year commemorative disc complaints raised are not breaches as they are not specified in the contract as requirements. Who knows? This could have just been someone saying, hey, we're going to get you this and just verbally said it. And at least in the medical field, if you don't write it down, it didn't happen. And so I'm going to assume, you know what they say, when you assume, you make an ass out of you and me, but I will still assume that it goes the same way, especially when it comes to contracts. Prodigy also denied Burr's claim of poor disquality and the molds being inconsistent. Prodigy wrote in a letter to Burr that they stand by the quality of their products and that they are troubled and confused by Burr's sudden issue with the quality of these products that have brought him such great success thus far in his career. Prodigy claims that Burr never once complained to them about the quality of their products until January 2023. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe, maybe not. 
I will say that inconsistency in molds is not a Prodigy exclusive issue. If it is, I don't throw Prodigy at all. So I cannot say one way or another about this. Right now, this is coming down to a bit of a he said, she said. But um, yeah, we'll see how this goes. On to the lawsuit here. On February 15th, Prodigy filed a lawsuit against Burr. The first hearing, consider, uh, considering the temporary restraining order and preliminary injunction, was held on February 16th. The court has taken it under advisement and a follow-up hearing is scheduled for March 3rd. Prodigy is asking the court to require Burr to remain in his contract through its termination date at the end of 2023. Prodigy estimates that it will lose up to $1.5 million in sales without Burr under contract through the end of 2023. Prodigy CEO went on to say that the impact of losing Gannon Burr to one of our competitors would go far beyond sales figures. Already, Prodigy's brand is suffering in the marketplace. Many consumers suspect that something is, quote, wrong with Prodigy because Gannon Burr has announced that he will no longer be affiliated with the brand after we proudly announced last month that he would be part of the core team in 2023. Burr, who remains a minor, executed his contract with Prodigy as a minor and his mother co-signed the agreement. The enforceability of the contract with a minor has become a legal issue in this proceeding. There are apparently some laws specifically as to related as related to where Prodigy is housed in how contracts can be executed and enforced with minors. I don't know how that goes because his mom was part of it. Still trying to figure this out. Obviously, the courts are still trying to figure this out. So a schlub like me is going to have a hard time figuring that part out. Burr's future as a sponsored athlete now hangs in the balance with the legal time framing expected to stretch beyond the start of the Las Vegas challenge this week. It's possible uh, risks uh, to Burr if he endorses another company. Burr may be effectively left without a sponsor for the foreseeable future. Burr is competing at the Disc Golf All-Star Weekend, which has successfully completed, but playing without an announced sponsor. He's still throwing Prodigy discs. Prodigy's court filings were pretty entertaining in general because they included memes, including PDGA Rodman. If you do not follow PDGA Rodman, you should. It's hilarious. You know, check out the content ahead of time. It's not exactly for everybody, but I think it's funny that Prodigy is trying to cite a meme as the reason why Gannon should stay. And Prodigy's court filings included copies of social media posts, including those from Reddit and memes from Instagram. Uh, there's one where uh, it shows a picture of um, here, I'll actually read this quote here. Troubling and worrisome to me is a meme of Prodigy's logo on a tombstone with Gannon Burr smiling face photoshopped onto the body standing over the gravesite, indicating Gannon Burr's departure would essentially destroy Prodigy's business. Um, yeah, Prodigy has said so themselves that they left. He, him leaving early would effectively tank the company. Who knows? The court should not sit idly by and allow Gannon Burr to publicly humili humiliate Prodigy Disc and decimate its business in the manner that he seeks to do now, Prodigy wrote. In addition to the injective relief, Prodigy's filings seek monetary compensation from Burr. Now, I hate to tell you, and who knows, uh, but Gannon can't be held responsible for somebody else making a meme. Now, if Gannon made that meme, okay. All right, you probably have some kind of situation on your hand because one of your endorsed athletes is bringing shame and harm and damage to the company. PDGA Rodman posted it, not Gannon Burr. He could do, PDGA Rodman can do the same thing when Ricky left Innova, when Paige left Dynamic Discs, when Eric left, Eric Oakley left Dynamic Discs, when Insert athlete left insert company big time. You could do, you could say that when Paul left Innova, you could, I mean, they're still around, but it's, it's, it's a meme. It's funny. 
I'm sorry, guys. Have a little sense of humor. I know this is a god-awful shitty time for you, but a little bit of humor goes a long way. This is a developing story, and the professional disc golf world is being rocked by it right now. Prodigy Discs has filed a lawsuit against Burr, seeking to bar him from working with or promoting a competitor and require him to work with Prodigy for the remainder of his contract season in 2023. It also asks for monetary compensation. The dispute appears to have developed over the last few months, so we'll see how this goes. It's going to take a little while. I'll be curious to see what Gannon does in the meantime. Is he still going to compete? Is he going to sit out? Are they going to force him to fulfill his contract? Because if that's the case, then you're not going to have a happy person there and it's not going to go well. I guarantee that Gannon Burr will do the bare minimum of what you want him to do in that contract. Now, he's still going to go out and he's going to compete. And if you say that in your contract, if you win a tournament, you have to mention us, he's probably going to be like, yeah, this is awesome. You know, I won today. My sponsor brought you disc. And, you know, it was really great out there. I was throwing the disc well, and I did this great. I did this great. And it's just going to be a quick little boop. He's going to wear Prodigy Discs as minimally as possible, would be my assumption, if you force him to stay. It sounds like he's not happy. This is the first time that this has become public knowledge, a lawsuit of this kind. According to Drew Gibson, they tried to unsuccessfully sue Chris Dickerson and Paige Pierce. So we'll see where this goes. I'll keep an eye on this one. If their track record is anything to go by, Gannon should be fine, and we'll have to wait just that much longer to see where he ends up. So, thank you all for watching. If you get a great tree kick, don't forget to thank Treesus, and if you get kicked deeper into the woods, well, you need to repent and reflect because you have transgressed against Treesus. As always, I've been Joe, you've been awesome, and I can't wait to see you all in the next video.